Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me in a brand new series. Um, this is basically the replacement for Solar Civilization, and I had so much fun doing Solar Civilization, I thought I would do another career mode thing, because I actually had a plan to do an interstellar series, but that mod is so unstable it wouldn't work, which is a shame, but I'm actually pretty stoked to be doing um, some more career mode. This is going to be slightly less heavily modded than um, Solar Civilization, because then it probably lasts longer, and I don't want it to be the exact same thing, obviously. this. Um, isn't about uh, populating the solar system, it's more about going to lathe. Because I've not done much with lathe, and lathe's, aw lathe's awesome. It's, if you don't know, one of the moons of Jewel, which has an atmosphere of oxygen and water, and it's oceans. And that's where we want to be, because um, as something goes on in the Kerbal, the, in, on Kerbin, it will make people need to leave or something. I don't know. Basically, the plan is just to uh, colonize lathe. Very specific goal. Um, but yeah, first we have to, you know, get science and stuff. So yeah, I have tech life support installed. I do have a few mods, um, but, you know, not too many. Anyway, we've got this um, this little thing down the side, this Gene Kerbin telling me things. Uh, that's very interesting. Um, I'm Sounds like a lot of reading. Uh, yeah, so we start off with this... Um, Pretty basic space center. I've done very little career mode in point ninety. So yeah, um, I've actually done very little career mode in point twenty five. Uh, because uh, I spent so much time in point twenty four. Anyway, this seems like a thing we could do, and we can only take on two um, contracts at once. And yeah, we could probably set an altitude record. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna just like spam this. Oh, by the way, this is on hard mode, so there's no reverting, no quick saving, no quick loading. So pretty standard these days. Most people seem to do it on hard mode, which is good because um, what's the fun in not doing that? Okay, got it. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is do a pod test. Um, I'm just gonna send this out onto the um, launch pad, and then I'm gonna uh, just grab some science from around the launch pad. Uh, the launch pad just being a little piece of dirt right now. Yeah, most of this probably won't be live commentary, um, because in my opinion, live commentary in KSP doesn't really work that well, because there's a lot of drifting through space, and not a lot to talk about in uh, drifting through space. Ooh, cool, pre-launch stuff. Um, cool, yeah, this is all my TAC life support stuff. Um, I do have a fair amount of space, of course. There is some weird movement going on somewhere in my house, and it's making, it's really annoying. Anyway, it's very really high pitch, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Jebediah Coman must leave his pod. Oh no, he must stay in his pod. Um, to get a crew report. Uh, there you go. Point nine science. That's what we like to see. Um, and yeah, take an EVA report while flying. Three point four science, a little better. Um, and then it's actually make this update has made it a little harder for science spam in that you have to walk further to go and get more science. So yeah, that'll do for now. Um, I just want a decoupler because I'm not actually going to go straight to orbit. Funnily enough, I have a very, um, very uh specific process for these sort of things. I do like a uh, Mercury sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to do all the flight altitude records because, um, well, I just, I, I don't need a money spam, probably. Um, yeah, so I've got that. Oh, I do have unlock costs though, don't I? Of course. Uh, what do I want? Um, that'd be useful, just generally. It's only 50. Uh, a decoupler, yep. Um, and a bigger fuel tank? Yeah, um, I do have KW rocketry installed, as you can see. I just have some of my basic mods. I don't have B9, because you don't really need B9 anymore, because it has really nice things already in the game. But yeah, I was going to do, like, um interstellar thing, but no mods work with it, basically, except for, like, no part mods, so it would have been a stock one. And stock's okay. I have been thinking about doing a stock series, but yeah. But anyway, um, I'm going to get my record of five kilometers, I think. Um, that sounds useful. Uh, I'm probably not going to spam reusing rockets either. I will probably attempt something like that and maybe install the mod that helps with that. Just, yeah. But I'm not sure. I might just keep this mod list because this is a pretty tight mod list. It's got quite a few, but most of them are quite small. Um, like, I have got the cloud mods, um, so that will make it a little unstable, which is why I'm recording with fraps. Um, don't know why I had all that in there. Um, so, Jesus, it sounds like there's something... Like, near me vibrating when I speak. It's like resonant frequency or something, I don't know. Um, I probably won't decouple that, because I might as well get the money. Um, I'm just going to go to five kilometers, basically. Um, I did actually think of uh, starting in that, um, uh, what is it? Um, better than starting manned mod, where you do, like, uh, do, like, freaking, um, you have to start with, like, uh, 
what are they? Um, you, with probes and stuff, and then you because and it's really a difficult way of doing career mode. But eh, <laughs> apparently I don't like trying. No, I I just thought I'd play a more stocky sort of thing, stocky with a few extra parts and just a few nice little things. Um, this probably won't be done quite like Solar Civilization, where I heart where I did like loads of launches and just had things drifting off because my focus is dual. Um, I might do less kind of. Yeah, I'll take um, time into less account, basically, um, if that makes any sense. So, like, I will walk through space at it sometimes. I probably won't leave a whole year out to go to another planet, because I don't really like doing it like that. But, yeah, it will, won't be, you know, exactly like that. Oh, look, we're passing through the clouds. Rather beautiful. Um, and when we get to five kilometers, or just below five kilometers, we will cut our engines and get a little more money, because we need a little money, a um, little bit of money, a little bit of money. <gasps> Wait, that's not the right artist, Peter. What are you saying? Um, yeah, I was thinking you can, there's a, like a bunch of UI things that help you land and stuff, but yeah, I like to eyeball it a bit. Um, it means I can never. It, yeah, it's just uh, makes it a little more difficult. Um, annoyingly, is if I don't have B9, I don't have the bigger, better wheels, which kind of sucks because um, the wheels don't really. What they're really small, and the way they're done is in a really weird way, actually. Um, they, because they have to be physicsless, because if they touch, the, the ones in the stock game, they have to be, oh god damn, why did it pull it two kilometers? <sighs> anyway, the ones, the wheels in the stock game have to be physicsless, because, or you get like this weird stretching glitch when stuff lands on them. So if you attach them to anything that isn't physicsless, so like a girder, or a wing, um, they just bounce around, and I did do a video on that, well a brief kind of, um, compilation of how much you crash. Um, but yeah. I am coming down quite hard now, so I will be slowing down as we approach the ground. Um, I do very much like... This I this update did come a bit out of nowhere. It was a massive update, and it had, like, the whole Space Center arts and things, like all these new models. It just came a bit out of nowhere, I think. Um, a little odd. Oh, yeah, and the whole pilot engineer thing. That'll be way more interesting picking out crews rather than just on their name. Um, all right. Landing speed. Uh, ooh, I think I'm accelerating upwards. Oh, uh, well, obviously accelerating upwards, because I'm decelerating downwards. Read a book, Peter! Anyway, let's recover this. Um, grab a bit of science. I wonder if I've even used this, um, commentary, because I may have just sped it up by now. Um, but I don't know. I've done bits of things. But yeah, I need, you know, time to talk about the series, I guess. Uh, 6.7 science is definitely not enough. Oh, I didn't put the mystery goo on it, did I? Um... What can we do? Uh, visual surveys at nah. Orbit turbine. Nah, let's just go escape the atmosphere and altitude record of 1100 meters. Because then I get two things and I don't have to orbit turbine. Oh, look, obviously I can and can do that from the first level because it takes like. Oh no, because of the first level. Basically, you can make an SSTO so easily in KSP. Um, because it's such a tiny little planet. Nope, don't need to go there. I do want to hire some more crew, however. Um, who has cool names? Uh, we might need another pilot, I think. Uh, Anbury, oh, Ronnie Kerman, oh yeah, um, and who else? Maybe another scientist could be useful. Harden, pretty cool name. Sidley, who'd file L wise, ooh, he's wise. Um, Milbury, cool name. I hire Kerbals just on their names. Like if I get a Sean Kerman, yep. If I get a Kirk Kerman, yep. If I get a Kirk Kerman, like Captain Kirk, yeah, fucking hire her on him. Um, alright, we need a slightly bigger rocket now. Now, it shouldn't be called Pod Test, this should be called... Uh, well, it should be called Mercury 1, really. Um, well, then I'm gonna call it Moho 1. Not because it's going to Moho, because the Mercury 1 was named after... Well, was hopefully named after the ro um, not the rocket, the, what am I talking about? The, uh, planet Mercury. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Um, but, uh, then, uh, yeah, so Moho is the stand-in for Mercury in KSP. So yeah, let's uh, call it Moho 1, and then let's go to space. Um, just graze space, just suborbital sub -orbital trajectory. Um, yeah, I've done very little with lathe. I've done very little with the dual system. I have sent Kerbals there. I had a station there once. I once did a live stream where I went to, um, like, Bop or Pol or something. Um, yeah, that wasn't a very good live stream. Um, but I did do it. Um, and it was... I. Uh, it was either Bob or Paul, I don't recall. Um, probably, I don't know, I literally have no idea. I've never been to Val, I have been to Tylo, I've sent probes into Lathe's atmosphere, I've been to all the other planets, all the other all the other bodies, except a few of the Julian ones, because it's a little more difficult there, isn't it? What the shit? Okay, 
That's a glitch, if ever I saw one. Oh, I think it's the night sky. Oh, shit, I should be tipping over. Oh, I'm going way too fast. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. There's no reverting. Okay. There will be no survivors, either. Um, okay, tip over. Yeah, I completely forgot I was playing with Ferrum. I haven't actually played with Ferrum for quite a while now. Um, come on, Jeb, use all your piloting school skills. Basically, if you tip with Ferrum Aerospace, it's a real model. So if you're going, if you're heading, say, um, that way, and you're pointed this way, then there's going to be way more air pressure coming onto that side of the spacecraft, so it's going to flip it. That's basically how I understand it. I'm probably wrong. Um, oh, God, and it's like this terrible map view, isn't it? I've, I, oh god, I completely forgot about all the constraints. As I've said, I have hardly played any point ninety, um, or much point twenty five. That kind of just skipped by me. But that wasn't that much different from point twenty four. It was a little nicer, I have to say. I do like all the updates. They all seem to be pretty good. Um, I still want to see what's going on with that. What the shit? That looks so weird. It's like, I don't know. Maybe that's just how they render the night. I don't know. I did want to use um, better atmospheres actually. Oh, I can tip over way more now because we are much higher up, and there's much less air pressure. Um, yeah, I did want to use better atmospheres. Oh, no. No, go quickly! There's no time! There's no time! There's no time! Um, okay, I've done one of my missions. Okay, shit. Okay, keep flipping. Yeah, okay, this hasn't gone well. I like my launches to be all perfect, but this... not great. Okay, nope. How well are we doing? Well, I have done one of my missions. Um, okay, God damn it, Jebediah. Just... Ooh, I should... Okay, okay, I think we got it. No, one more. One more. One more flip, and then... Start pulling back. Okay, start trying to arrest the rotation. Okay, now I've arrested it too much, and we're going to start falling back. I can do this, guys, don't worry about it. I'm a... Skilled pilot. Um, not skilled as Jeb, but, you know, I can do stuff. Uh, that was dumb. I like all my laundry as well. You know, you got to have some... Drama in the first episode. Um, some crazy drama with the spaceships and him being all like, I'm too old for this shit. And everyone's all like, oh, Jeb, no, you can survive a rocket spin. And everyone's like, no, or something like that. I don't know what I was going for. Sometimes I just randomly speak until someone stops me and there's no one here to stop me. <laughs> oh, God. Um, 80, kilo 80 kilometers? Yeah, yeah, that is right. Oh, you can't get out, can you? No, and I didn't put any mystery go on this, did I? No. Um, yeah, you can't get out um, in space, so this is going to be a very low-yielding science mission. Uh, three grand, though, eh? Three grand, eh? Eh? Okay, Canadian person. It's funny, I watched a few Canadian YouTubers, um, just like uh, Linus Tech Tips and stuff, and they actually say stuff like, eh? It's like, what? Oh, and um, two best friends, and all those, they're always saying, like, the stuff you don't expect them to actually say, like, eh, and, um, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Um, kind of like Irish people. Last Irish guy I met, I, he was like saying stuff like short was. I was like, oh my god, you actually speak like that? That's fantastic. Um, oh, while well, I'm in space. Um, what about this side of the planet? Okay, that might be something to look into. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is why we've got to leave, because there's a deadly mist of death coming into the Kerbal. I don't know, I haven't really figured out a reason. This is just basically New Earth. I think I might call the series New Earth. I haven't- I just called it a new series, didn't I? Um, at the start of the episode, fuck it, we'll ditch the stage. I'm not gonna be that stinge. That stin- Oh no! Oh damn, I already decoupled that stage. I pulled the chute too quick, it's gonna burn off. Oh, I can't believe it's Jeb. Jeb! <gasps> oh god, Jeb! Can I deactivate the chute? Nope. Mm. Yeah, we might just about to be loose, Jeb. Yeah, I think I might call this series, like, New Earth. Oh, no, we're coming in much slower. It might not, but it, we're coming in much steeper. <gasps> oh, wait, min pressure. Turn the min pressure up. Yeah. No, min pressure really high. Wait, what? What's stopping that? What mod is that? Is that... Deadly reentry? Okay, could you pull now? What? Oh, cool, there's a thing that stops it pulling in fire, thank God. Seriously though, you are gonna thank God. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. I thought we were gonna lose the jab, but yeah. And what was I saying? I should probably call this series New Earth or something. God, these clouds look nice. Um, I did want to use better atmospheres because it does make it look awesome, but it, I don't think it 
works with 0.90, or maybe it does, but it's very, very memory intensive. These clouds are nice enough, it's fine. Um, oh god, I forgot to change that. Oh well, let's just walk to the ground. Um, how long have I been recording? Um, not using bandy cam, so it doesn't have that nice readout. Um, but I have been recording for 15 minutes. Um, yeah. I could just, uh, I, well, I could just quickly orbit Kerbin, I guess. Um, or call this like a short episode. Just kind of a short starting episode, yeah. But, um, yeah, I might call this series like New Earth or something, or New Kerbin, maybe. Or The New World. Um... Or, um, New Eden, something like that. Um, hmm, that was actually going to be the premise of the Interstellar one, where I was going to go to this new planet, but, well, it might, I actually, I'm kind of excited to stay in the Kerbal system, because, Kerbal system even, because, uh, well, it's nice to, there's a lot of stuff that you can explore here. And there's probably a lot of stuff I should explore, and I'll be zipping around a bunch of planets, don't worry, I will be going to other planets, but the actual main goal? Colonize Lay. Colonize the new Kerbin. Um, don't know what I'm going to call the series. New Kerbin, new home, made home, I don't know. Um, if you guys have an idea, maybe put it in the, uh, put it in the, uh, in the comments. Ooh, a little bit of science from Lay Ocean. Uh, board, nice. Recover, nice. Toit. Um... I don't think I have really time to go to space, uh, to go to orbit, although I could just post commentary it. Um, yeah, I should probably buzz through the, oh, I've got a bunch of, yeah, let's end up spending my money. Um, how much to unlock all of this? Five grand. I can spare that. This is on hard mode, by the way. That's still a lot of money. Um, I will research. That could be useful. Eh. Eh. I'm going to go this one. Um, because then I can have batteries, better engines, uh, how much is, no, it's too much to research all of it, but, uh, I'll research bits, uh, maybe some life support, what's a little one? Uh, food contain, uh, no, I need little life support, life support can, god damn, uh, oxygen, life support container, small, uh, and maybe some batteries, cool, um, yeah, nice, um, yeah, I'm actually just going to call it here, because it's been 17 minutes. Um, anyway, as I've kind of alluded to, um, most of this won't be uh, like a live commentary thing like this has been. It'll be more like my other stuff where it's post-commentary, because then I can more done and there's less boring floating through space. But I thought it's... I always like to start a series with a bit of a, bit of a live commentary sort of thing. But yeah, this is going to be my new Kerbal Space Program series where I go and start a new Earth. Um, it'll hopefully be done nicely, and I'm... Probably do a mod list at some point, so you'll be like, what mods are you using? Um, off the top of my head, KW Rocketry, TAC Life Support, Kerbal Alarm Clocks, um, Ferrum Aerospace, Deadly Rentry. Um, I feel like there are some other things, but that's all I can think of right now. Um, but yeah, it's not massively modded. So yeah, anyway, I've been just rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been episode one of... New Earth, or New Eden, or New Kerbin, or Lathe Bound. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,